Now I know what you're thinking. Hold on, hold on. This channel is all about building Wonder Kids up, watching them grow into insane talents, not destroying them before their careers get off the ground. You are the chosen one. Bring balance to the force. Who would have thought? Not me. Today, we're switching things up. It's opposite day, the polar extreme to a growth test. We're out for blood. Stupid, I'm not gonna let you get the chance. Ansu Fati can be summed up as the most hyped, most growth and potential value for money wonder kid you can find on the market. He burst onto the scene in late 2019 and in all honesty, I have no hate towards Fati. This isn't done out of malice. I implore that this is purely for experimental purposes only. As you can tell, yeah, lockdown's gotten the best of me. What I wanted to explore today throughout the course of this video was the morale system. Can the most unhappy player in the world, despite obtaining that has potential to be special status, a 90 plus potential gem, fail his career and turn into the next what could have been of world football. Let's see the effects that negative morale has on a player. We've seen some emerging stars come and go, but this could be one for the history books. We've also gone and applied an impeccable face scan mod for the lad. It's quite literally a spitting image. Right here, everything, all the odds are stacked against Ansu Fati in this current situation. We've added him to the transfer list, so more naturally he'll be upset and try and message us saying, hey boss, why'd you do that? He's already unhappy with the team performance, so it looks like he's already on the right path down the morale trajectory. Another scheme we've hatched, plotted against the Spaniard, is signing more competition. We have picked up the signing of Marcus Rashford. The English left mid will lock down that spot for years to come, 63.6 million pounds, and he's just the type of player to steal all the limelight from Ansu Fati, definitely diminishing his growth and development he could potentially have in years to come. Something that sparked this idea was a video I did way back. It was the under-16 wonder kids. Could they win the Champions League? Ansu Fati did feature in that video despite him not really doing all too much for our side I did receive a lot of comments explaining why he didn't perform to his best capabilities and that's because he's a left winger not a left mid so the assistant manager he's not going to play him out of position in that left mid spot despite it being a pretty similar position to play therefore his game time was extremely limited and now due to the fact we are rocking a left mid formation and Marcus Rashford has settled down and is definitely cementing his starting 11 position that is just one of many factors going against the 16 year old Farty at the moment. And just to confirm, we will be using no training whatsoever. And now that I think I got all that out of the way, we are ready to rock and roll. We've done a little cheeky, I must admit. We put him on the transfer list. Now we've taken it off it and put him back on again, knowing that he didn't have a reaction the first time we put him on the transfer list. And he's he's feeling good about himself. He thinks that we've changed our mind, but no, we're gonna go with the low morale option. And his morale just slid all the way back down to unhappy. His ego must be torn to bits at the moment. I feel so bad. In terms of a team perspective, Barcelona finished runners-up in the league to Real Madrid, and they've backed it up with two major Spanish titles, the Supercopa de España and the Copa del Rey. I'm curious to see how much Ansu Fati was involved, though, as we'll scroll down. It seems that he's grown a bit, a plus three to his overall 76 rated now. He's supposed to have that potential to be special tag, considering he has 90 potential, but now he's gone down to an exciting prospect. One element of his game already diminishing, and his morale right now is unhappy. It's not in the reds, it's not where we want it. He's upset about his playtime and his contract, and I guess he's got to get used to it, as he's played no games whatsoever. No appearances, no goals, no assists. It's donuts all across the board. I don't know what dynamic potential's thinking, giving him a plus three to his overall, considering he's literally impacted nothing. And then you can see his stats starting to go up, so I don't know, maybe this little experiment's backfiring on us, as Fati still seems to grow and prosper at the moment, and his value on the transfer market has gone up 92%. His game time, it's nothing. It's been reduced to out and there's a few things we can thank for that. Marcus Rashford, the formation, and him just being downright unhappy about his contract. Things are going our way. We're going to continue chugging on into season two. He was strictly on the transfer list, and we've had a few clubs see the situation here. They want to attempt to revive his career. Lazio and Real Sociedad came in for one-year loans, but you just know we'll flat out rejecting that. Barcelona's been hit with the reverse Uno card. In terms of their competition wins, they've taken out La Liga invincible with 108 points, but losing both Spanish Cup finals in the Supercopa de España and the Copa del Rey. Look at our boy Marcus Rashford. That's the reason we bought him to be our best player, take all the game time away from Ansu Fati and dominate that left mid position. Oh, the media already slandering his name. Fati fails to shine at Barcelona. The career of young Ansu Fati was thrown into turmoil last night when he was told that Barcelona didn't wish to retain his services. This end of season report is going to get spicy. Despite a gameless season one, the media coming for his throat, a 
transfer list that Ansu Fati has grown a plus two. Now standing at a 78 overall, he's just unhappy like last season. The orange color code and unhappy, so he's not fully on the other end on the red spectrum, but he's starting to get there. As his playtime and contracts still remain the unhappy sectors, he has been appreciative of the team's performances winning La Liga, but how much did he contribute? And yeah, again, it was nothing much. Zero games, zero goals, zero assists. These are the type of numbers I've been wanting to see. Back-to-back -back seasons, two years in a row, where Ansu Fati hasn't played any first-team minutes. However, his stats and attributes still continue to grow and develop. I feel like I'm being punked right now, but surely with dynamic potential, this is about to come to an end, as his financial value has only improved 19%. Season three, here we come, and things are about to get ugly. They're mad, he's mad, Fati's mad. Can we make it three years in a row where Ansu Fati doesn't get a sniff of first-team action? He's still got up a plus one, and his potential status, this is big breaking news. He's not an exciting prospect anymore, as dynamic potential is in play, and his status has been reduced to at the club since 2018. This could be a key moment right here, as he's still a prospect, he's still orange unhappy, but it's slightly less that the morale bar is just slightly reduced. All with the red thumbs down, his personal player performance is neutral about it, because we've hit the big three, three years in a row. Oh, you gotta feel sorry for him at this stage. The 19 year old at Barcelona hasn't had any game time. It's the triple zero that gets me all excited, knowing that the experiment is going the way we want it to. And talk about competition, Jaden Sancho has joined the gang, and also Kai Havertz. We've signed a few other elite ballers, so Ansu Fati is getting nowhere near that starting 11. His potential could be hitting rock bottom as this might be the last few attribute boosts he could receive ever. Don't take him for granted as these upgrades might never be seen again and his financial situation is a plus 9% on his financial value and I didn't mention before, we signed him on a massive 10 year contract so basically that means we're going to have him here at the club as long as we want. Even if he submits a transfer request, he's not leaving until his contract runs down. I'm not fucking leaving! <laughs> Man, I feel like Dr. Evil. I don't know. I just get the essence of a despicable footballing figure. It could be good news. It could be bad news for whoever wants to hear it. But we're successful in de destroying Ansu Fati's career. There was only really one word for it. And these were the transfer offers he did receive this season. He's gotten a few calls from Italy. Atalanta, Real Batiste in Spain have also acquired his services. And also AC Milan trying to cash in on the failed Spaniard. Season 4 could solidify his legacy as a flopped wonder kid. And the 20 year old, he is still going strong. This is the first season that he hasn't improved in terms of overall. He is stuck at a 79, still at the club since 2018. Just as always, his playtime and contract are the main gripes he has about this situation. And he's still unhappy at the club. Imagine coming up through the youth academy, being a Lama C, a talent, and just having your career gone strept away from your eyes. Wow, okay, he's got a, one appearance, one game for Ansu Fati. I don't know why they played him. I don't know what scenario they could have played him in. Either Rashford was injured or they didn't have any left midfielders. I'm not sure. It's anyone's guess, but it's the first time in four years that he's managed to touch the grass on the field and actually play a game of football. It's a miracle at this rate, despite him getting no goals and no assists this season. Attributes haven't received any upgrades whatsoever. That could be a reality from here on out. And his value is now 12.5 million pounds on the transfer market. If done properly, if played regularly, you could probably be seeing Ansu Fati right now in the mid 80s. One of the best wonder kids in the world. That's just not the case here today. And Watford were the one and only team this year to come in for him. 13.5 million the Hornets offered. And it seems like he's still attracting interest from clubs all around Europe. The real question is now we're five years in. It's almost half a day. Decade and now we have seen lows that have never been achieved. There's a first for everything and his unhappy morale meter has turned dark red. That's when you know shit has hit the fan. Now at 21, he's just simply had enough. No growth in his overall just like last year. Playtime, contract and team performance. Three big red thumbs down. Player performance, he's neutral about considering it's another one of those years. He didn't get a sympathy appearance. It was the three zeros that we love to see. And this might warrant for a transfer request. A big move away. I'm not sure. His attributes yet again, no upgrades to be seen and no growth to his financial situation either. You can visibly pinpoint the moment where you start to see Ansu Fati's career falling away from him at the moment as the likes of Bologna and Lille in France have offered up some money for him. I might want to switch it up and see what happens 
If we transfer him for a move away, can he revive his career elsewhere? Is it all too far gone now? Is it too late? I'm in the mood to throw a bit of a curveball in there and switch things up once season six begins. We've had our first takers right here. It is Spurs offering 14.7 million pounds. Just when you thought things couldn't get any worse for the Spaniard. It's a North London club that have required his services and we're just going to flat out accept that. It'll be interesting to see if that one goes through, but we have our first takers of season six. After the first six years of his professional footballing career, career with no goals, no assists, and one appearance to show for it. Jose Mourinho's entrusted his faith into the 21-year-old Spaniard. There is still time. He's still young. With dynamic potential, he can turn his career around, and 14.7 million pounds was the fee agreed for him to become a brand new player in the Premier League. Is he going to become one of Jose Mourinho's favorites? Will England be the destination for Ansu Fati to kickstart his career to revive it? That is what we're yet to find out, and I cannot wait to see what happens. Through the power of time travel and editing we've skipped forward two seasons now that Antu Fati is 23 the Spaniard here in the Premier League how's his game time going he's happy about his contract but he's not happy about his playtime. So a similar scenario to what happened at Barcelona. And it seems like Jose Mourinho, he's not in his favor at the moment with zero games in zero goals and zero assists. He's done that back to back now in North London. We've accepted the job offer just to spy and see how the stats are going. It seems like the competition and the formation that Spurs play doesn't suit Antu Fati's game style. It doesn't allow him to get any game time either. So Jose Mourinho's just done him over. And again, we're just back to square one and he's a 0% growth in terms of his transfer value, still sitting at 12.5 million pounds. We gave him one more shot, one more chance for redemption here in his third season at Spurs, and he's probably sick of it at this rate. Transfer listed, he's happy about his contract and the team performance, and playtime is just with that big red thumbs down. He's happy though, despite the fact that he's getting zero appearances, zero goals, and zero assists. You're now just wondering, what does he do with his life? He's a professional footballer, but he's not playing. He just might be sitting there on the sidelines, warming the bench. He's collecting his paycheck week after week. He doesn't have any problems with it, considering he is happy with how much he's getting paid. 76K a week. He'll walk away with that, show up to training, show up to the match day. Don't even have any contribution on the pitch. He'll valued at 12.5 milli. At the start of season nine, it's time for a new chapter. The time of for redemption is now as a 24 year old he has been transferred to AC Milan the Rossoneri again they've shown interest in the early years and now they've just solidified that picking up the 24 year old still 79 overall he hasn't grown ever since like what season three five years later and he still hasn't progressed I don't know what AC Milan and Maldini are thinking over there but it's a new chance in a new country in a new league I'm keen to see if Ansu Fati can get any game time I already know his potential shot on the ground but if he can get any game time I think that'll be an achievement at this rate. 15.3 million pounds spent on the transfer. Will it be a waste? Is it a gamble? Or will it be one of the best decisions Milan have made in a while? I didn't realize. What a coincidence. He joins a fellow failed Barcelona wonder kid in Halen Halilovic. He's now 31. If you played FIFA 15, FIFA 16 career mode, you know all about the Croatian playmaker. And he has now entered a new era. As he turned things around, is he getting some inspiration here at the San Siro? He's happy about his contract. His morale is just content. And he's still just at the club since 2027. In season nine, he has played some of the most football he ever has in his career. Seven appearances, two goals. He scored the first goal of his career, nine seasons in, also with an assist on top of that. So three goal contributions in seven appearances. Things might be on the up. Has he gotten any attribute boost? No, none whatsoever. And his value still at 12.5 million. Has he found a new home here at the Sun Ciro? Things just might be clicking. Can he get his career back on track? Ansu Fati, you've got a lot to show for us in season 10. Major, major plot twist alert. This is not a drill. I repeat, Crystal Palace have come in and swooped up Ansu Fati. Roy Hodgson has secured his man. That's definitely an image you never thought you were going to see. But it's a bargain, 9.9 million pounds. And he wants to have another crack at the Premier League. He's already said, hey, I've scored two goals and one assist here in Serie A. I've conquered the Italian league. And he is ready for his second chance over in England. Will he be able to cope? And at Crystal Palace, you'd think, you'd imagine that he'd be able to get into that first team. The starting 11, surely he'd slot straight in. Can the one and only Roy Hodgson wait? 
Can he get the best out of Ansu Fati? 25 years of age. There's still time on his side. He's got a good five years left in the tank. I'm sure this is not how he wanted his career to turn out. He's got to face the facts. He's got to deal with the situation he's been placed into. This could well and truly be a significant moment in his path to redemption. This is how Crystal Palace deployed their starting 11. And that's how he fits in their squad. Still at a 79 overall. His form is up, which is something we haven't seen. He's in excellent form at the moment. His unhappy morale status harks back to the days of Barcelona, but he's happy about his playtime. He's happy about his contract. He's happy about the play performance, just not about the team. I don't know what you expected. Move to Crystal Palace. This has been his best season yet. 20 appearances. That is record-breaking. 10 goal contributions with 7 goals and 3 assists. These are the kind of numbers I was fearing back in the Barcelona days, but now that his potential's been shot to the ground, now that he's proven to be a flopped wonder kid, this could be a redemption arc we never saw coming. 10 goal involvements in 20 appearances is ain't too bad for a Crystal Palace Roy Hodgson side. Will it be a flash in the pan though? His, his value has actually gone down from 12.5 to 12 million pounds. He's got one year left remaining on his Crystal Palace deal so will he stay or will he go for years to come? Just for funsies, I wanted to simulate the last game of the Premier League season at home against Spurs. His former side so will he go out and get revenge? It's a London derby and will the Spaniard Get a last word. Oh my god, no. Why did I even question him? They seem to be doing fine without him, and he isn't able to get any type of goal, any type of revenge on Spurs and Jose Mourinho. A 5 0 thrashing. It's been just over a decade of Ansu Fati career destruction. We have ruined one of Spain's brightest talents. With his potential status, he's joining Wolfsburg when the transfer window opens. I can only assume that's on a free, and he's going to yet another country. Germany is next on the destination list. And He's down to experience something different. He wants to play in another league as he's past the Premier League now. 42 appearances. 62 appearances in two years. 11 goals and three assists. Definitely his most output and most productive season to date. It's only taken 11 seasons, but we're here with 11 goals and three assists, 14 goal involvements. His stats haven't improved for years and years as he's managed to be one of the bright stars here at Crystal Palace. And his value has gone up 8%, a plus 1 million pounds to his transfer value. Reached 27 years of age, he should be in his prime. He should be winning World Cups with Spain and win the Champions League with Barcelona. Not stuck here with Roy Hodgson's Crystal Palace. Will this be the final straw and the final destination? We are yet to find out. Here's some context to how this Wolfsburg side is lining up. They've got a few talented Brazilian regens, Ryan Sessegnon, Zagadou, and Benzka as well in their roster. And this is where Ansu Fati ranks in the 11. We've skipped forward two seasons, so he's now gone from 27 to 29. And the reason why we stopped here was because he was getting minimal game time one, and he's joining Leganesh once the transfer window opens, yet again on a free. The Despite being the number 10, he's unhappy with his playtime and his team performance here in Germany. He's managed to pick up two appearances and one goal for his farewell season with Wolfsburg. He's edging ever so close to that 30 years old mark. And you know once you hit 30 in career mode, things are about to go downhill. And you can start to see a few little teasers here with a minus one in agility now down to an 87 and minus one in long shots. It might not be too many major giveaways to his upcoming demise. It's just sights and figures that could lead to a free fall in overall. So I'm curious to see how Ansu Fati is looking once he hits that dreaded 30. And right, ladies and gentlemen, what you have to witness before you is what I've named, what I've coined, the end of Ansu Fati. This is the end of the road. We've not only experienced him in his 30s, we've skipped to the ripe old age of 31. He has had some movement in the overall chamber. Now standing at 78, he's gotten a minus one and he's been at the club since 2032. He's in okay form. He's content at the club. We've finally seen some developments and he has been downgraded down to a 78. So his peak overall in his career was a 79. The levels we have destroyed this guy's career is unforgivable. With 12 appearances and two goals for Leganesh, he finishes off his career where he started in Spain. It's kind of a shame due to the fact that we've just joined Laganesh. We can't really identify specific stats that have achieved downgrades. So I guess you guys can go back and see in the earlier seasons what has gone down. What are some of his stats that have received the most downgrades? He still looks quite the decent player, but...
but he's 31 now. He's way past it. And he finishes with an overall transfer market value of 9 million pounds. That KFC logo on the shorts though, he's probably just come here. A nice little easy retirement team to join with an unlimited supply of KFC. What could go wrong? Their 2034 is the last season in career mode. And that is where Ansu Fati's destruction of a career is going to come to its depressing end. We've done everything in our power to ruin this man's life, to ruin his career and destroy whatever footballing promise he obtained. I love my see youth academy graduate, Spain's golden boy, and Sir BCHD has torn him down. I guess you know now, 15 years into the future, and Ansu Fati's career has been nothing but a flop. I guess you find out what happens when a wonder kid is unhappy, things aren't going his way, and you don't treat his demands. He's moved to the likes of Germany, Italy, Spain, England twice. Hopefully you guys did enjoy a bit of a different one today. Go on, do me a favor, slap that like button down below, hit subscribe, turn on the notifications so you never miss out on the content we upload in here on the channel. Hit up all the social links down in the description, my Twitter, my Instagram, join the Discord. For now though, I've been BCHD. Hopefully you have a great day. Stay safe and I'll catch you all in the very next video.